Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. The Transformers team featuring Ben from Marketing and Evan from Product Design showed off a couple new Transformers this morning for their Transformers Fan First Friday. A lot of Transformers 86, 35th Anniversary Studio Series figures, so definitely a lot here to get excited about, I've loved that studio series ever since they started doing the 86 movies. Was never a big fan of the Bayverse kind of stuff. So as soon as you want to start doing 86 figures, and they're all fantastic. That Grimlock is mwah, muy bien, right? But real quick, just to kind of go over everything that they featured right before they talked about the figures. Kelly from Franchise Marketing spoke to artist Matt Ferguson, and it was kind of nice. I guess there's going to be a full interview up on uh, Hasbro Pulse later if you want to see the whole thing, but just kind of cool to see the artist talk about his artwork. He did the cover illustration, bunch of the artwork for the upcoming Transformers the Movie Steelbook, so he went over his process very briefly, but it's nice to hear their inputs and what they're thinking and everything else. I've always enjoyed that when I hear artists talking about their work. So you can pre-order this, yada, yada. It, not something I need. I have 50 million versions of Transformers, the movie, 86. I got, like, basically, every time I see a new one, if I go to the first store or something, and it was really funny because as I'm thinking this, Evan goes and pulls out, like, several. He's like, oh, I got one. But then I got this, and I got, I'm, like, thinking, like, yeah, that's exactly what uh, <laughs> what I was thinking i'm like i got too many versions but hey if it's you know your thing or you never had the movie probably a good start to it right also i want to say that i like seeing all the transformers and things in the backgrounds of the of the thing you know we talked about that kind of with the star wars thing so and let me just say this these dudes are nerdy as all get out right but it was charming and it's cool to see that because they throw in little Everybody did. Even Kelly, the franchise marketing expert, was like, you know, saying quips and stuff, taglines from the movie. So that's fun. It gets you into it. It's it, all like as soon as they start doing the reveals, I'm like, I'm ready for Transformers. This is very cool. So to start it off, we're getting a Transformers Studio Series slug slag and. Daniel, you know, you can argue over salami, baloney, as they said. That's another thing. They're like, hey, you know, let's throw in these. I don't know. It's it's it makes it more fun to watch these things. So this is gonna be Takara Tomi. You get a Daniel figure like they did with Wheelie with the Grimlock figure. They also kind of hinted at an upcoming third Dinobot, which I'm sure they're gonna continue. Which fingers crossed. I hope they do them all. Just uh, just FYI. And then they talked about the animation applica paint application. So that's where they, they didn't go like G1 toy. They went more for the animation, which is really cool. That's all the studio series you're going to see. That's what their main focus was. The backdrop for the packaging is the Shark Decon pit. And for the 86 studio series, Slug and Daniel are going to be number seven. The reason they can't say, if, if you don't know this, Transformers fans are going to like tune out right now. But... If you're new to this, the his original name is Slag, but you can't really put that on packaging because it's like a derogatory term, not more so nowadays. So yeah, his name is Slug going forward, but we all know what his name is. Anyways, moving on, Shark Decon, nah, going to be a deluxe scale figure, showing him off. He looks great. They're calling this guy like their army builder, obviously, right? You can... Get a lot of these and still have a great setup for your shelf. Fluoro Deary colors and design, which I'm glad they pointed that out. He comes with his G1 blaster. He comes with his tail, his mace tail that's articulated, so that's cool. And they did point out that Cup can hold it if he wants to go ahead and bash brains, right? So that's very cool to see. The next figure up is Rekgar. He's going to be number nine. He's a Voyager class figure. And this was cool. They actually showed off that he could potentially ride himself. So again, kind of an army builder. Let's say if you wanted to get two, that would definitely work. Because as you know, in the movie, they start riding each other. and They all kind of look the same, kind of sort of. Rekgar obviously is 
wreck garb, but yeah, you, you watch the movie, you, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways, he comes with his wheel shield, he comes with his axe, he comes with nipple blasters, apparently. Look at those suckers right there. He's must be cold over there on the planet of junk. And then, uh, yeah, he will feature 30th anniversary Blu-ray colors. They kind of mention they go through and they're trying to match the colors as best they could, but because of the transfer of the Blu-ray, it's just a lot more crisp, a lot more clear. So, yeah, I would never have known. Anyway, I'm just going to say 80s, 86 movie colors, whatever. <laughs> So if you're interested in any or all of these, these will start to be available this summer. This is Wave 3, and pre-orders will go up in and around 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, depending on when you see this video. If you need the links, I'll have them in the description below for Amazon and Entertainment Earth. Thanks for using my links. Helps the channel to grow. That's what I recommend. That's what I use. So... I don't recommend anything, uh, companies and whatnot, unless I personally use them myself. Moving on to the last reveal, we have the new third figure for their Hasbro Pulse exclusive line, the Shattered Glass. This is Starscream. He's in that Jetfire-inspired color scheme from the comic book. He's like a white Tetra Jet this time around. He's got an Energon sword which splits into two sabers. So, again, if you need this figure, go up for pre-order in around today sometime. Available only on Hasbro Pulse if you need him. But that really wraps it up. Nice and easy, easy peasy. Great presentation. Ben, Evan, everyone, that was very good. I enjoyed it. I was excited. I nerded out with you guys. It was pretty cool. And, yeah, this Transformers is fun. Do more of the Studio Series 86 stuff. That is mm, muy bien. I'm uh, having a great time collecting Transformers. I don't know how much further I can go with Transformers, to be honest with you. I've gotten some amazing Transformers ever since they started War for Cybertron. I think if they continue the Studio Series 86, I'll definitely be on board. But going forward, I, I mean, they've done amazing figures. I don't know how many more Optimus Primes... I need for my collection, to be quite honest with you. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. What do you think about the reveals? Any or all? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Transformers. Transformers the movie, 86, Shattered Glass. I don't know much about that, but it looks cool. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, have a fantastic weekend. It's a weekend. Live it up. Barbecue. Uh, whatever. I don't know. Have fun. And, and don't spend too much money on toys. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.